on one hand the cryptocurrency market saw the third largest theft of the market in this year while on the other hand certain altcoins like chilies continued their rally despite the minor bearish sentiment in the larger crypto market hi everyone welcome to voice of crypto's daily news wrap where we talk about cryptocurrencies blockchain and the web3 space Before taking a look at the top news of the day, let us take a look at the cryptocurrency market and how the top cryptocurrencies performed at the time of recording on August 2. The global crypto market cap still oscillated around the 1 trillion US dollar mark but was down by close to 2% over the last day. This was largely due to Bitcoin's fall in price. Bitcoin's price was down below the 23,000 US dollar mark which has acted as a crucial support resistance mark over the last uh, week however the good thing was that bitcoin's price was still around eight percent higher as compared to its price last week on the other hand ethereum was down by a mere four percent on the daily chart but was still up by 12 percent on the weekly chart taking a look at some of the top altcoins bnb or binance coin was still up by almost 14 percent on the weekly xrp was up by 11 cardano by 6 and solana by 13 percent on the other hand dogecoin and polkadot were up by 7 and 17 percent on their weekly charts due to bitcoin's short-term bearish momentum and the, the minor pullback that it has seen in terms of price most of the top altcoins are also noting minor pullbacks that said let's take a look at some of the top news of the day singapore's watchdog recently urged financial firms to discourage retail crypto trading despite uh, of the fact that there is a growing retail cryptocurrency sector in Singapore and it is growing in terms of a geography where cryptocurrency, web free and blockchain firms function. There are certain roadblocks that the country is still addressing as per recent reports. In another news, Robin Hood was fined almost 30 million by New York's top financial regulator. The New York State Department of Financial Services alleged that Robinhood violated anti-money laundering and cybersecurity regulations. A Wall Street Journal report highlights that um, the New York State Department of Financial Services has imposed a 30 million fine on the online brokerage unit of Robinhood Markets INC. One of the biggest news in the market on August 2 was that crypto firm Nomad was hit by 190 million US dollar theft. The firm is still figuring out what is happening at the back end. However, quite a few organizations have stepped onto it and are helping the firm find out who is behind the recent theft and the heist that took place in the digital assets sector. This is the third biggest theft in the cryptocurrency market across this year there have been other notable hacks and thefts like the ronin bridge hack and quite a few others uh, nomad said in a tweet that it is aware of the incident and investigations are currently underway however um, they are not delving into details about the exact value of the theft a recent partnership between Yuga Labs and Google saw Board A Piach Club NFTs being recreated as 100 works of art by Google Cloud Neural Networks. This is quite a massive step in terms of the collision of the markets, both traditional as well as the cryptocurrency markets. Last but not the least, we will take a quick look at Bitcoin's chart. Bitcoin's price made decent gains and was in a largely bullish trend for the most part of July. July was also the month which marked the highest gains for the top cryptocurrency since October 2021. This is way before Bitcoin's all-time high was made. This month marks sort of a crucial moment in uh, Bitcoin's macro trajectory. We can see that uh, a daily chart presents Bitcoin making higher highs and higher lows on the daily time frame. However, over the last two days, as a new week began and a new month began, Bitcoin's price started to note minor pullbacks. Bitcoin was down by close to 2% um, 
on the daily chart and its RSI is also noting a downtick which means that sellers could be activating in the market however at the time of recording we could see that buyers were still dominating sellers which meant that they're on a net there was more of an accumulation in the market this my friends was all in voice of crypto's daily news wrap if you liked our videos don't forget to click on that like button and if you love our content don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon